Dressing well doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need hundreds of different items of clothing, dozens of shoes, and countless accessories to have an excellent wardrobe with pieces you love and many different outfit possibilities. Actually, a well thought out wardrobe can sometimes benefit from having less pieces. You've all heard the phrase, sometimes less is more. Now don't get me wrong, as an avid fashion enthusiast, my wardrobe is quite substantial, I'm not gonna lie. I love my shoe collection filled with one too many white sneaker, my rack of long coats, and my extensive selection of knitwear, but I always go back to my essentials, a few items that get by far the most wear. Some would call it my capsule wardrobe. So in today's video, I wanna show you that with the right pieces and when you know your style, you don't actually need all that much. So I'm going to select nine items, nine of my favorite, most worn pieces in my wardrobe, and I'm gonna try to put together nine outfits with only those nine items. For the first item, we're gonna go with the almighty timeless blue jeans and a straight fit. Not too wide, not too slim, just a regular classic cut. These are going to be an excellent base to build off different outfits. They're the 1996 model from Acme Studios in a light wash, and they fit similarly to Levi 501s. I'm sure you would have guessed this one. You know we're gonna need a plain white tee in there. We're definitely gonna be able to style it with almost anything. And I'm going for my all-time winning player here, the Uniqlo U Arism oversized t-shirt. I was debating between a slim fit and an oversized one, but in the end, I do think an oversized fit will be a little bit more versatile. This one is a little bit of a curveball because I don't usually wear dress shirts often, but this isn't really one. This striped shirt from Comme des Garçons comes in a slightly relaxed fit, which along with the chest pocket makes it far more casual. I think I can work with this. For item number four, we're going for black trousers. These cropped black trousers from Drôle de Monsieur come with an elasticated waistband and a tapered leg, which gives them a good balance between casual and formal. Again, going for versatility here. Next up, the essential of all essentials, the gray hoodie. If we're talking capsule wardrobe, this is a must for me. I like mine slightly oversized with longer, more relaxed sleeves, but not too long in the body, which this cold Buxton hoodie does perfectly. Okay, on to shoes now. We're gonna spare two of the nine item slots for shoes. So can you guess which two? There's no trick here. I think you got this. It's an easy one. You got it? Yeah, you got it. We of course have white sneakers. Nothing gets my heart like a pair of clean white sneakers, truly timeless. These are the Balenciaga Phantom, currently my absolute favorite pair of all whites, but you can of course replace them with any white sneaker. There are hundreds of more affordable alternatives out there. I'll link to a few in the description. If you hadn't guessed the previous one correctly, then I'm sure you've got at least this one, right? Black boots, of course, have to be in any capsule wardrobe. I have an unproven theory that black boots work with any and every outfit. So we're gonna put that to test later. I think we need at least one outerwear piece in our selection, and there is none more versatile than the black overcoat. This one I actually got from Zara a few years back, and I love the fit of it. It's nice and relaxed in the body, with a slight drop shoulder, so I can easily wear chunkier hoodies and sweaters underneath. Okay, for our final item, let's have an accessory. I'm a huge fan of baseball caps. Obviously, you don't need to be stupid like me and go for an overpriced branded one, but a good black cap will go a long way in terms of styling. Okay, we've got our nine items. Let's put together some outfits. Okay, let's begin with the blue jeans first. It's always a good way to start off an outfit. And the white t-shirt for the top half. Let's add the white sneakers. Okay, there you have outfit one. Nice, simple, everyday outfit. Nothing crazy going on. You really have your timeless classic pieces here with the straight fit jeans, the oversized white tee, and the white trainers. Sometimes a nice, simple outfit works best. And this is a really nice base outfit that you can adapt to your personal style. For example, if you prefer a slimmer fitting tee instead of an oversized one, you can go for that. For the jeans, these are a classic straight fit, but you can go for a slimmer version if you prefer, a cropped, tapered one, or a wide your leg, whatever floats your boat, you can really adapt it to yourself. Okay, for outfit two, we're gonna keep the base of the jeans and the white t-shirt, but let's change up the sneakers for the black boots. 
Quick tip, always keep shoe trees inside your shoes when you're not wearing them. It'll help prolong the life of the shoes and keep the shape of them. Let's tuck in the t-shirt, pull on it a little bit to create the shape you want, and add a baseball cap. Boom. Outfit two, still nice and casual, but a slightly different vibe. We've got the black boots going on with the cap kind of mixing formal and casual together. And the tuck in tee just creates that separation at the waistline, elongating your legs. Similar pieces, different vibe. Now, if you needed to dress up a little bit more, look a little more put together, you can swap the jeans for some black trousers, remove the cap, and now you've got a completely different vibe. You can never go wrong with monochromatic. Black and white always works. And if it's a bit chilly, you can just add the black overcoat. Boom. T-shirt and overcoat combo flows really well in my opinion. It's always a hit. This is what I call effortless chic. Okay, for outfit five, let's make use of this beautiful striped shirt. Put the jeans back on. Sneakers. And the cap. And now we've got a nice outfit for a day out and about with your mates, if you're going for a barbecue or just hanging out with your friends. Going for a little bit of that dad vibe with the sneakers and the cap. Quick tip, when pairing a shirt with jeans and sneakers like this, you want to make sure that the shirt is leaning on the more casual side, which is done here with a slightly more relaxed fit. Love a good dad outfit. Okay, for outfit six, let's try adding a hoodie on top of this. Actually, let's add the cap back on and change up the shoes. Okay, okay, that works. I feel like we can even put the hood up. Even though we're wearing all basics, I feel like this fit might be a little bit controversial. It's a bit more fashion forward, a bit more of an unusual pairing here with the boots, the jeans, the relaxed shirt underneath the hoodie, but I quite like it. I think it's a vibe. But if you want a version of this that's a little less fashion forward and more timeless, just there we go. Nice and simple, but honestly, this is my favorite kind of outfit. This is pretty much my go-to outfit every day. These are my essentials. I just love how they feel on me. I feel comfortable, confident, and that's what it's all about. Okay, two outfits left to go. For outfit eight, I'm thinking we're just gonna wear everything. Everything we got. Let's do it. Okay, almost everything, I guess. We've got the black boots, the trousers, white t-shirt underneath the hoodie, the coat, and the black cap. That's like six out of nine items. It goes to show you, when you have a versatile capsule wardrobe, you can mix and match almost anything and it'll look good. Everything is almost interchangeable and having things in neutral colors definitely does help. You can even do this with the other items that stayed on the bench. And there you go, slightly different vibe, a little bit more clean, preppy. No cap always looks a little bit more presentable. As I said, with essentials like this, you can really mix and match however you want. And there we go, nine items, nine outfits. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any other video ideas or outfit challenges you want me to do, just let me know in the comments. I'm always up for a challenge. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day. That's a wrap. Cool. That's a wrap. Don't forget the bloopers, man. Thing, one, two, three. Hello. Whoa, mother. <laughs> Have an elasticated waistband and a crop to bro, my voice is cracking. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs>